What is good guys and girls of YouTube? It is me, Justin Omoe, here with another video for you guys and girls to learn up and improve yourself when it comes to music. For today, I'm going to talk about how to set up your song so you could be able to record it in the best way possible, at least in my opinion. So yes, starting from top, we are going to first put in a song into the project. We're going to beat map it, aka set the tempo and line up the song. We're going to set up the metronome as well as set up the microphone so it's in a good way to just straight record and then play back how you want it to sound. So yes, starting from the beginning, let's do this. I'm going to minimize FL Studio because my file is right here on the desktop. It's Lean Fantasy produced by at Mr. 500 Beats with a Z. That's the homie. Um, he be making some dope beats, so check him out. He's all about the trap. So yeah, show him some love, you know, description below. Uh, click the little I button on the top right of the computer screen if you see it. So you could click it and go to his channel. So yes, I'm going to go ahead and click drop it. Oh, click go down here to where it's, you know, the FL icon. So it opens up the project again and then drop it into the playlist. Notice it says playlist and yep, dropping. Cool. Once we have the song, we could just bring it all the way back. If we go into song mode by clicking up here or clicking here so it's gray, you'll notice a little green tick. That means we're in song mode. If I hit play, we will see the song being played. Yeah. <laughs> all right, cool. So first up, I'm going to actually put this into the track in the mixer by double clicking and then clicking the track button. So it goes into the next best empty slot available. Uh, let me just discard this icon real quick. And yep. So yes, if I hit play, you'll see the beat being played here. Cool. So what I'm going to do, I could rename this to beat, right? So it is neatly organized and I know what the beat is. So yes, it's here. Next up, I'm going to beat map the song. Now how to beat map, we are going to detect the tempo, line up the song so it matches with the metronome. So yes, I'm going to go ahead and click this little icon here right next to the name of the song, the little wave form, click it. And then I'm going to go to detect tempo because Lamel's song or Mr. 500, because his song is already embedded, meaning the tempo is already inside of the song as data metadata. I could easily click this, but if we don't know the tempo of the beat, we could guess it. If we know it's a fast paced beat, like doom, 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 we could be like, okay, maybe it's 75 to 150. If you don't know how to actually guess it, just take time with the metronome, play it, and then, you know, you'll have a good understanding. So I'm going to go ahead and click 75 to 150, and then what you'll see up here on the top bar, it'll be like detect and favorite. Favorite means, okay, I like this one better than the last one, just in case there is a favorite. And then if there's nothing else, it'll select the favorite. It'll select the favorite. So I'm going to click it right now. Cool. Notice one of the favorites was 72, and that is because 72 is half of 144. It picked 52 at first, probably because of the beginning piece, but as the song went on, it found the algorithm for the downbeat as 72 because it's half of it. And then as it kept playing, it's like, okay, 144 sounds like the most, you know, reasonable one to use. So yes, that's something, you know, cool to understand. And yep. Once we have the beat mapped, we can now line it up with the metronome. Um, this looks like it is, but it is not. If we go in there, scroll, hold control and then scroll on your mouse, or you could click this little bar icon and close it in if you don't have it, uh, the scroll wheel. And notice that the down beat, that is the down of the wave for the first beat, is not lined up with this line here. See, there's a black line for every, you know, snapped bar. We have to make this line up. So what we could do is actually 
since we cannot move it anymore, we could actually cut this file, the song, by holding shift and the right alt button, right alt and right shift, and then clicking, and then you could let go of the alt button to stay within snap. Notice when I move left and right, it does not move out of the snap. So I'm gonna cut this by let go of the mouse. Then I'm gonna right click this to delete the file over here. And what I'm going to do now is line up the beat. So I'm gonna first highlight it, or you could just, I do this, I highlight it, hold control and then click so it highlights. And then I hold alt, the left alt, while I click and move it over. So notice how I can move it freely. When you hold the alt button, it basically turns off the snap. So yes, I'm gonna drop it right there. If you need to go in even closer, you could go to options, uh, project general settings, and then change the time base. It would normally be 96, but go to 960 and you'll be able to scroll in even further than you should, or you know, than able to. Next, or you know, finally, we take this and drag it all the way back to the beginning so we have a nice clean beep mapped sound. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, uh, why we should beep map it, I'm gonna go ahead and mute this and pull this all the way out so it's nice. I'm gonna hit the metronome, right? So only focus on the bottom one. Notice how it is off beat. When I play the metronome, it's gonna not be on beat. So I'm gonna hit it right now. <laughs> So yes, as you see, it does sound like it is on beat, but it is not on beat because the downbeat is not clearly right there. It's like a little bit of a millisecond or just some time. Let me see. Three, three. Yeah, like four seconds, uh, counting seconds faster. So I'm going to unmute this, hold alt and click. So now we have the beat beat mapped. I'm going to press play. So you notice how the beep is perfectly in match with the song. Um, that is what it is for beat mapping. Next up, we're going to tingle with the metronome. So we keep it on and nice. Uh, default By default, you'll have a tick sound. You probably can't hear that. But I switch it to beep because that's how I like it. And notice how the metronome is in my uh, first insert. And it's really loud, so I lower it down. If you want it to be in your first insert, what you have to do is go into Options, Audio Settings, and then go to Preview, Preview, Mixer Track. It'll be on blank, meaning Master, and then switch it to 1. And then when you do that, it'll be in the first insert. That's why when I tracked the beat, it went to two because the preview is this one. So I can rename this preview slash metronome. Okay. It's or just metronome. I probably spelled that wrong. All right. Now we have the metronome set up to a nice level where we could hear the metronome without it bleeding into our headphone, into the microphone. We will now record, like set up the microphone. So once again, the metronome, I lowered the, the volume down so it does not go through my headphones and record into the microphone. So yep. You can always lower it down if you wish. And yeah. Notice how I already have my microphone in. That's because I need it to record. But what you'll have to do is go into an insert slot, an empty one, and then go to your in. So it'll say none. But then you'll have to click here and then select the right input. If you do not have your right input, go um, to my video where it's about how to connect your, your USB or how to use your microphone in FL Studio. And yeah, you'll see the little icon there. All right, cool. Now we have the microphone inserted. Um, next up, I like to do this. I have a vocal insert with my effects that I like in it, already in it. So if you don't know, I made a video on how to mix vocals and these are basically the effects. Um, it's a limiter, AKA the compressor, 
the EQ to subtract, the EQ to add. We have an exciter, sound goodizer, reverb, spitfish, which is a free plugin, deesser, link in the description, and fruity limiter, which will bring back the makeup gain. As you hear right now, my voice isn't as loud, but if I put it into the vocal track, yep, you hear? This is how it usually is. So, yeah. So, so yes, for now, I have it routed into my master. I want to route this into my vocal slot and turn this knob, this routing knob, all the way down. So what happens is that I won't hear myself through here and I'll be able to record without hearing myself because I do not want to hear myself inside of the master, inside of my own headphones when I record. So yes, I'm going to show you how you can actually record your vocals without hearing yourself. This is what I do. You will take this master slot and drag it all the way down. Notice that you couldn't hear me, but you seen signal in the microphone. That means my signal is good, but you cannot hear it through the master. So what that means is I can record the song without hearing myself and I will be able to, you know, record without hearing myself like I just said. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to hit record once my track is armed to record by this little red indicator. I'm going to click record up here. I'm going to turn off the master and then record a little something. I don't know what I'm going to say. It's the freestyle. I don't know. I don't know. It's just something off my head. That was the worst recording I ever took in my life. But anyways, <clears throat> notice how there is a waveform here. And you did not hear me when I was recording. But if I play it back, you will. Now, I'm going to double click this and show you something. Notice when I double click it, it shows track four. Track four is my vocals, where the effects are. That's why I routed the mic into the vocals and then turned the green all the way down. So it automatically routes into number four, the insert four. So yes, um, I'm afraid to hit play, but I will. Um, and yeah. Hey, follow the boy. Yo. Hey, hey, what's up? It's your boy, man. He's all about all the blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I don't even know what the hell I say in. Yeah, oh wait, wait, let me let me just play this part. But I am shooting down this fire like I'm Satan. Satan, you already know I'm saying all this shit because I'm hating. I don't like to, I don't know, talk about that shit like Mr. Hanky. Howdy, how, what's up? Blah, blah, blah. You don't know, I don't know. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay, it wasn't that bad. But yes, um, that is basically how I set myself up to record. Um, Take note, you could low down the beat if you want to have a better mix recording. And I'm going to talk about this in another video, as well as low down the input on your audio interface. Well, not input, but the volume knob. So you do not have your voice bleeding through the microphone. Let me just right click this and play it again. Hey, follow without the noise gate. Hey, follow. Do you hear that? The clicks in the background, the metronome? Hey, hey, follow the boy. Yo, hey. That's called bleeding. Um, I'll talk about it in another video. But for that, I take the noise gate and cut it off. Hey, follow the boy. Yo, hey, hey, what? So yes, that is one thing to watch out for, which I will talk about in another video. So yes. That is basically how you, how I set up my vocals to record. Again, you could also um, put in markers by clicking, right clicking, or no, not right clicking. Go in here, go to time markers, add one, and then we could say intro. 
and then do the same thing or hit alt and t for you know time marker name this verse and then we could take it and drag it over just to have a better organization this goes here actually and yep that is about it hopefully you guys and girls learn how to you know do the setup i have and it helps you and yeah um that's about it thank you for watching like fave subscribe follow the boy lamel 500 or mr 500 beats my bad and yeah thank you all for watching my name is justin omoe like fave subscribe and peace